gnome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Now today it's Cesc Fabregas, a former Arsenal man, currently at Barcelona but he is struggling for first team opportunities. Now Messi's injured, he will get a lot more, but this guy's going to set you back a bit so if you're looking for coins, check out UT Coins now. The link will be in the description below, use the code Marshall5 for 5% discount. And like I said, he isn't cheap, 200k on the Xbox 360, 250k on the PlayStation 3, but after time that will drop so just check out for when his price does drop because you will need to pick him up just to give him a try. He's got a freestyle weak foot and a freestyle skill move set. Now as we move into his skill attribute, you'll see straight away that his ball control is very high. The other high attributes in there, the high greens, are his long passing, his short passing, his penalties, but that is where it stops. Other high non like green greens, the dark greens, whatever you want to call them things, are his like finishing, his long shots and stuff like that. He's, he's really good at that, but his physical attributes do let him down in the strength department, in the speed department and in the agility department which lets you kind of float past players and that does affect them in game so we'll go into the first clip and it took me a while to get used to Fabregas' style of play but once you notice how good he is you will notice it more often than not and I just want to highlight something at the very end and um, yeah I'll let you know then that was a great finish by the way chest volley thank you very much but the one thing that you will notice throughout this is his runs his movement is amongst the best I've used on the game and it took me a hell of a long time to work this out because in game you're kind of focused on getting that goal, scoring the goal, assisting the goal, but once you edit this back and look back you notice, Jesus Christ, this guy is fantastic with his movement. Because you'll see time and time again he makes the most perfect runs I've seen from any midfielder on the game and his finishing is second to none. And that was with his weak foot by the way, so that freestyle weak foot coming into effect there it didn't really make an effect whatsoever, cracking little finish so you can just scratch that off anyways. It does feel like a 5 star weak foot, it really doesn't make a difference whatsoever and once this guy gets in the box he can produce time and time again his ball control comes into play look how close the ball control is to his feet just look at that it's like it's on a rope like one of those things that you had as a kid where you had like a rope on the end of a ball and you just kick it, it comes back this is what Fabregas feels like and once he gets a chance in and around the box he will punish you now you've seen so far his finishing his movement his ball control the next thing you will see is his passing because his passing is spot on every single time time and those were the dark greens in his in-game attributes which you've seen at the start they come into play so often just look at how well weighted that pass is I don't think he could have got that wrong mind you but Benzema goes through and he finishes anyways nice little finesse around the goalkeeper before he goes gives him a hug but yet again his movement is spot on this time he couldn't finish that should have been a penalty man he got booted up in the air but you get this guy in the corner he will just float in the most precise ball you will see and you will score loads of them which I did but I just wanted to include the one corner now this is what I wanted to highlight these give goals from the centre of midfield just look at this run he keeps going he keeps going and he's unlucky not to score before Griezmann does score now this happens more than three four five times a game it happens constantly and that's why I wanted to highlight because he's the best at doing this just look at the way he stop and start his run there and he's just so unlucky not to score now on this last clip it becomes so close he actually hits the inside the post but yet again his run is fantastic and i'll end it there lads i hope you did enjoy this review drop a like if you did sub if you haven't and i will catch you all next time